Have my sloppy seconds, Dee Dee. Goodbye. Bet that dress you had on yesterday had skid marks. Okay, Langley, you literally look like an entire skid mark. And you're going to, like, talk about my skid marks? At least my skid marks come from my ass and don't look like my face. Thank you for your $1.99. New Kia or Scram? Scram! Did I lose weight? I know. Are you worried about me? People are saying they're worried about my weight loss. No one cares! I blocked Nagar for good. And he's going to watch this, so here's my message to you. I am sorry for being so back and forth. Coffee and cleavage. It. This is good. <laughs> I know it's hard to take me seriously. It's hard to take myself seriously. Um, it's not the first time I've actually blocked him, but it's not. It's rare that I actually block, block, block him. Miss Tian, and I'm doing that because it has to happen. Like watching his. I posted his stream. <laughs> The, the thumbnail made me laugh. Like, I, I I woke up and I'm like, what did I miss last night? I see Gary, this guy's face, like, looking like a buzzing fridge face in his thumbnail. And I know I knew he hated Gary. He's like, I'm going to react to this fat fuck, I swear to God. And I know, look, yes, he calls him fat, fat shames him. And I'm fat, I know. But you know what? That guy fat, sh that guy fat shame. that guy is fucking mean to me too. He's nasty the way he talks about fucking people. So fuck him. He does look like a fridge face, fat fuck. And, but... He got shit faced, yeah. But it really pisses me off to hear him say, like, he specifically goes out of his way to be like, I don't have a girlfriend. Here's why you have a girlfriend, Natter, okay? You can call me your not girlfriend, just like, uh, you can lie your way out of a lot of shit. But I have like literal DMs of you literally telling me you love me and that you want to live with me. Um, so there's a lot of DMs I'm sure you wouldn't want to be public. So I'm just saying, just maybe like, actually, like, come on live and be like, yeah, I did have some, like, I don't understand this. No, I deserve, I deserve that because you know what? I've put up with a lot of his shit and I do a lot for him and I fucking do a lot for him. Like you don't even know. Well, you do know. La Latina Linda, welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready, set, peace. And Didi, just so you know, go ahead and sue me. I cannot wait to take you to court because you know what? You deserve everything you have coming to you. You inserted yourself in this shit. You inserted yourself. You laughed at me with him. So you deserve it. You deserve it. I don't feel bad for you at all. Kiss my fat ass. You think the judge won't take one look at you and be like, look at what happened and be like, yeah, I would have went off too. I'm not excusing my abusive behavior, but fuck that. You and him put me through a lot of shit, a lot of shit. And you know what? I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with me at the end of the day, just looking like a liar and getting fucked over and getting nothing out of it except for more debt. More debt. And what? For nothing. He's embarrassed to be with you, Chantal. He's obviously hateful to fat people. You don't think he's using you and Didi like banks and objects? Beezer juice? I know that you guys say that, like, without effort. Like, it's an actual thing. Like, to me, like, do people really fucking exist like that in life? That, like, how can you spend so much time with somebody? How can you be all up in my fupa and not like me at all? Like, I feel bad for you. If you're fucking me this whole time for money, I feel bad for you. This is what, this is the deal with me. This is my dilemma with Natter, okay? It's like, if I'm truthful, he gets super mad. Like, he gets super, super mad because it makes him look bad. The truth makes him look fucking mad. No matter which way you fucking throw it. He doesn't want anything to make him look bad. You know what would make you look less bad? Just being truthful. I, I, the, not being able to be truthful 100% stresses me out and it will never work for that reason. So stay away from me because as long as you're in my life and there's things that bother me, I'm going to vent to them. I'm going to vent about it with my beezers. I cannot... I cannot live a private life. So if you're with me, okay, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. We all know you cover for him. You guys know that for real? You. Come on. You have to see the doctors today. Don't forget. And the truth is, like, I cannot, like, literally, like, yes, I'm, like, super, like, I was, I don't know. I'm, like, super infatuated. But, like, honestly, like, I am seeing this is not love at all. Like, this is not love. Jen Marie, welcome to Very Important Beezers, Ready, Set, Bees. And I know I sound like an idiot, but I just need to work this out myself. Like, I feel like he... I cannot be with him for more than, like, two days. Like, you see how I get. Like, I have to go home after. Like, that's why I'm here. Like, I can't... 
I can't. So no, we could never live together. Like it could never happen. But I'm tired of doing all this shit. Like I'm literally putting my whole life out and he does not even like acknowledge it as anything at all. Like he doesn't even care. Like he, he doesn't even realize the amount of stress that he puts me through, like having to drive up to Montreal or he, sorry, he did say like, I'm sorry, you have to drive up and, but I, I don't like the stress for you too. But he only said that like once. And it's because I started losing my shit driving around Montreal. He's like, okay, let's go to this area and look for apartments. Let's go to this area. And I'm like, meanwhile, I'm like, I'm going to fucking die. Like, I'm, I'm so stressed out. I'm tired. He's so high energy the whole time. He doesn't even care. He is coughing up a fucking lung and like horking up these things like and going like snot rocketing. And like the whole time it's like driving me nuts. Like, I can't even, I can't even deal. Like, I want to like punch him in the face. Like, that's how annoying he is at this point. Sorry, I have to get that off my chest. I didn't tell him that, but I think he could sense it because I'd be like, seriously like why like what's wrong with you go to a fucking doctor he's sick of living with Dee, and he wants to live i don't know what their deal is i don't care i have to realize they've been probably been lying to me the whole time i just want him out of my fucking life like i really do i really want him out of my life like I, he's not good for my life in any way like in any way i thought for some crazy reason I always say for some crazy reason I can make this work, but it's just not going to. And it's just it's just going to be more misery, more depression. Honestly, Nader, just fucking go work somewhere and be with Didi. That's your best bet right now. Have my sloppy seconds, Didi. Goodbye. And Nader, I can I can feel he doesn't. I can feel it. Like compared to when I'm with the motorcycle guy, like Nader is more. I mean, he's really stressed out right now, so it's hard for him to be like lovey, 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 especially after everything we've been through together. But he's just not. We're not compatible in so many ways. We're abusive. And I really, really feel bad saying that. And I feel like I'm ruining his life. So I want to lie for him to protect him. But he's super abusive. And like, why should I hide my truth just for him to protect him? Why should I fucking hide my, my truth about how he is just to protect him? Like, what? How is that fair to me? It's like this shit happened to me. It fucking like sh really traumatizing shit happened to me. And I think that's why I get so stressed out being around him. I have like some kind of PTSD. Like I'm not, I'm not saying this as a joke. Like I feel like being around him, I get really, really bad anxiety. So he chose to be abusive, but he's also like in anger management for like the second time. And he really, 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 really can't control himself sometimes. Like I know that's not an excuse and he has to learn how to. Like I've told him, like, you can't smack me. You can't. So you, after everything I've done for you and endured for you, you're going to call me your non-girlfriend. That's nice. That is how he truly feels. Sometimes I'm okay with... Rachel, I try so hard to make something that doesn't make sense work. And I know I could never... I know I can't be friends with someone like who I secretly hate deep down. Like I have a, a loathing for every fucking time you fucking did something bad to me. I fucking hate you. And I can't ever not... I don't know if I can get over it. I wish I could promise you it was the last time. I guess you guys are just friends. Because spicy meatball, I guess I just feel a certain way. Like after, like I think just after the just the way he talks to me and behind the scenes, and then versus like everything I've been through with him, like I've like I've literally like chosen to lose part of myself for this guy, like fully aware. And he doesn't even bother to like show me any kindness at all. Like every single, his thumbnails, everything of his existence is because of me and Didi. And he doesn't even fucking care. Do you know what I mean? Like, you should be his queen with all you've done. I know. His ego is too disgusting. Like, humble yourself. Realize that fucking people do shit for you. He, he doesn't, because he, I talk shit about him online. So that's like the ultimate betrayal. I don't, I don't say anything that's not true, though. Like, it's not, he sees it as talking shit and lies when it's not. It's just like me trying to like communicate to him because I can't tell him this in, in in person, you know. I should just get him an apartment and he will treat me better. Yeah, no thanks. I was almost going to. I'll say this again and I'll say it over and over. Everything I've ever told you guys that's happened to me has happened to me. That's it. I've tried to make it I've tried to make it less seem less impactful so that I could have a fucking relationship with him and you would accept it, which is fucking ridiculous for me to expect of people to tell you all these horrible things and then expect you to eat it up and be like okay with this but that's how like real life works a lot like it's not easy to leave <laughs> you wouldn't even buy burger king i know 
I'm sorry for lying to you guys. I'm literally at a point. I'm away right now because I don't want to be around him. Like, he stresses me out. I'm tired of, like, financially being fucked, of doing all these things, stressing out. Like, I stressed out so hard to find a place for him to, like, because, like, he and Didi weren't getting along or something. So I stressed out like, so hard to find a fucking motel, like, last minute to, like, hang out or whatever. And he had the nerve to be like, this place is gross and all this other shit. Like, oh, I just... I can't deal with that like secretive misery like i'm secret secretly miserable behind the scenes and then i have to come live and pretend with you guys and i just want to be fucking honest and just you guys are honestly like a sanctuary like so i went, went live when he was sleeping I'm like it feels so dark it feels dark and dirty and i don't like it anymore and that's how i would be with him and i don't want to i don't want that life guys i do have self-respect autumn and i think this is why it always eats away at me that's what it is it's my self-respect Pizza's not moving. No, of course not. I don't want to live without pizza, I don't think. I mean, a part of me does want to have my own independence, but he is a supportive person in my life. Like, it feels like even though I pay for everything right now, he paid, he, I put him into like debt. He's paid, a, when we were together, I put him through a lot of it. So I'm making up for it now. All right. I need to go for a shit. I'll be right back. Let's go out somewhere, dressed like this. I'm eating healthy today? No. Matter doesn't like Chantal. That's rude. I do a lot for him. You should like me. You can't make someone like you. He's ashamed to be with you. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm never going to be with a man who's ashamed. Do you want to have lunch with the motorcycle guy? I can't promise I won't be a horn dog, but I'm done with Matter for good. I think it's a bill collector. I'm going to reverse look up. <laughs> you ever do that? Don't look at my... Can you see my phone right now? Okay. Let me call it back. <laughs> I got approved on an apartment. Well, I'm not taking. Oh my god. Look at my binge from yesterday. Oh. I'm not eating like that today. No, I'm going to eat my... Three meals, that's it. That's it. Apartment tour next week. <laughs> Party time. Sorry, Natter, you're on your own 100%. And I actually even wrote that last night. I wrote that. He's blocked, but... I'm staying here with pizza. You're on your own. Thumbs up. Yeah, you told me already. Why do that stupid thumbnail with I'm such a fuck? One minute I love him, then one minute I hate him. It's so messed up. Rosie's awesome. Yes, Rosie's awesome. Last time you take a shit. <laughs> I'm not Amber Heard, fuck. Someone sent me a mess. She won't block Didi. I'm I have Didi blocked. I'll block Didi. I don't give a fuck. I hate Didi. I hate them both. I, I have been nice to Didi. I was trying to make up with her, but block i can't show you her phone number because it'll show just let me check my uh bank for a minute yeah because uh, anyway so yeah the person calling hello chantal marie you still want the apartment on i can't even remember what street it is no i'm no longer interested you can read my lips if you want so you got approved for an apartment but you still need pete's for emotional support Yes, I do need my, he's my best friend. And I worry about him. I do want him to have his own life. I feel he's like really dependent on me. And that's not healthy either. But I'm also an addict. Somebody said I shouldn't be living alone. That's really true. I don't think I should be living completely alone right now. I don't, we're not in any place to like do that. Like if we move, it's going to be together. I think we maybe we should move together away from here. Like somewhere where people don't know where we live at least. Because like people harass my building and everything. Like, I don't want to live here either. So, and it's really expensive. So, immaculate vibes. I guess you guys really, really just fucking hated Natter, huh? Like, for real? <laughs> you guys <laughs> move to Cuba. Oh, I want to, I wish, man, I miss Cuba. 
I felt so good on that plane doing something for myself. And then I felt bad when I raged, but he gives me high blood pressure being around him. Like I, I honestly, if I lived with him, I would die in like a few years. I know it. I could never like the smoking. Oh, the smoking. I would be like, can you at least put your cigarette out the window? And he'd be like, oh, whatever, you eat fucking Nashies. Yeah, but my Nashies, you don't get secondhand cancer from Nashies, you fucking jerk. God. <laughs> no, he made a joke. He's like, yeah, well, what about when you fart in my face all night and I'm real skinny because you're farting on me? <laughs> Just would never work ever in, in any way. We're not compatible. I remember, I'll always remember that guy who threw the money at me. He, he, he said something that night that always stuck with me. Always like insisting, like everyone hates you, like everyone hates you to Natter. And I was always like, what does he mean by that? Why does everyone hate Natter? Now I know why. I mean, obviously there's likable things about him, but he's got a really, 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 really fucking bad temper. Like a toxic temper. His dick is beautiful. He does have a nice wiener. He, I, I am sexually attracted to him, obviously, like the most of anybody right now. I find him so sexually attractive. I don't know, I can't help it, but that's about as far as it goes. If even my haters are like, dude, I like get messages from literal haters. Like, dude, I'm a hater, but I, I'm t swallowing my pride to fucking tell you to leave matter. <laughs> if, if people who hate me are wishing that I would get the fuck away from somebody, this is a really bad sign. <laughs> I guess he's just so convincing. He's so good at convincing me. He's the best at everything. I really believe him. The truth is he's kind of a selfish lover sometimes. Except when he's really drunk. The tequila he ingests. Yeah, the tequila night wasn't fun for me, so it won't be fun for him. Who else will put up with this manic behavior? I know. Tired monologue about moving on and get an apartment tour and wedding that could actually be content for your dying channel. <laughs> Elle, I thought you'd be happy. Anyways, I'm not going to live without Pete's. Like, we need each other right now. Am I going to? What I said to Pete's last night was like, if I want a life with a man, it's going to be hard. Like, you know. But the thing is, is like, I don't want a life with a... I don't want a serious relationship right now. I can't handle that. I guess that's why I flipped out on MFW too, just because like, I know I'm like not being fully truthful just so I can like be happy with him online. And I know that eats me up inside. Like not being truthful. I don't like it. Oh, no, you shouldn't threaten Pete's stability with your mood swings. It's not fair. One of your best qualities is loyalty. Don't buck it up. Yeah. Pretty shit, Reebies. I was thinking about two today. I'm like, I hope Pete doesn't like feel insecure about like us like not like we're not ever going to be romantic but he is like my best friend he's basically just like a platonic life partner at this point <laughs> yes he did slap me a few times what did i say about her deceased partner i don't even remember i was so mad thanks The last time he slapped me was like, when was it? The hotel? It's not just about being claimed, but yeah, it's like, at the same time, it's like, it's not just about being claimed as his girlfriend. It's about having any kind of fucking respect for me after like everything, you know? Like I've let him like, just like treat me like whatever. No, he didn't pay for the dinner. I have proof on my fucking bank statement. I lied about that. See what I mean? I have to lie to be with him. And I'm not cool with that. Maybe you and Didi are cool with that, but I'm not. I haven't been around him as much. So he, like in an abusive way, he did smack me at the hotel, like over the food, but that's about it. Like, I, I don't think, I don't remember if there was anything after that. I know I've gone back so many times. What's true, what's not, whatever. I don't need people to believe me. I don't want to, I just, I just don't want to lie anymore. And I just don't want to talk to him anymore. So I don't know how crazy this looks that I say all this. And then I go and be with him after. I actually don't want to go to Montreal. I have the passport. I don't want to go to Montreal. I'll go with Pete's. Fuck that. I like doing stuff with him, but at what cost? It's all fake. It's all stress. He puts all the stress on me too. Like he doesn't take any responsibility for it. It's like my problem that I need to find him a place. It's like my problem... Like, I, I'm just expected to pay for the place, too. Like, no. I'm just expected to pay for the fuck. Come on, Sam. I'm going to bring you outside later. Yeah. I'm just expected to fucking pay for everything. Like, even just offering to buy me a fucking soda would be nice. He's never, like, the whole time I've been with him, he's never even bought me a single soda. Like, at all. 
why is this a surprise? It's just like, it's just, it's not that it's a surprise. For me, for you guys, it's absorbing differently. For you, maybe you got it right away. For me, I need to live through it, okay? I need time to absorb it and realize it. No, it, it's a... He doesn't have to be rich. Just like, I do feel, I, I understand what you guys are saying. I'm starting to feel used. Like, my friend was telling me, like, why? Like, you cannot get this guy an apartment. Like, you cannot get this guy an apartment. Like, seriously? Like, how is his living arrangement your responsibility? And it's so true. Like, you're a grown man. It's not, why are you putting it all on me? And you see me stressing out, going through what I go through. And like, yeah, you should feel bad. Maybe you should look at your behavior then. I don't know. I'm just done with being stressed out like this. Like, for what? I'm not doing it for, I'm not doing it to myself. Nope. Nope. I feel peaceful right now in the, my filthy room. Yeah. A lot more peaceful than any, any slummy hotel he with him at all, period. No. I don't know how he doesn't see that. I don't know how he doesn't see how he treats me. It's like, I, I just always hope that he'll just change or things will change. But the thing is, he doesn't, I don't, I enable him. I don't allow him. Like, I, I, I end up being like, yeah, you're right. I'm the one at fault. I'm sorry. Address the soft cat toy you say he got for you. Yeah, he did. Well, he, I was sleeping. I think he took it from the rat guy's room. The rat guy had a room full of shit. And I ended up seeing a couple other stuffed toys in there. And I'm like, is this where you got Sam? And he's like, no. <laughs> but I think he did. But it's the nicest thing he did for me ever. So I cling on to it like a fucking loser. Like he, yeah, he really is. A, if narcissism is him blaming other people, like he will not even admit, like he tries to say like the incident where we got into a huge fight and he like did all that stuff that I put on the report. He like, he's saying that I was crazy and I was on, I was high and it didn't happen. And then he's like, you're going to admit to that, but you, you wanted to drive home and you were high. I didn't let you. He's like, whenever he like, didn't let me go home. He's trying to say like, because I was high. So he didn't let me go home. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? He's very smart in certain ways. A terrible friend Chantal is. He's not stupid. The thing is for what, like, I'm not really a bad friend. Like, I'm not the, I haven't been the best of friend, I guess, but maybe I have been a bad friend. If that is the nicest thing in 15 months. Yeah. The nicest thing. I know he, I feel like he hates me, but for what, what did I ever do to you other than fucking give you money? Or like, I talked about you online. That's what you really hate, isn't it? You don't want people to see who you really are. Why would you live a lie like that? Like, if I were him, I would want to be like, I would come online and be like, like, if that were me, this is what I want him to, this is what I would expect him to do. Go live with me. Because if you really love me, you'll be more concerned. This is, this is my foolish thinking. If he really loves me, he would care about me, right? And he would care about my feelings. So he would take me by the hand and come live with me and be like, I have done some bad things to this woman I love so much. And I want to apologize and make it up to you every day of my life. I know you guys don't believe me. I don't blame you. I don't even believe myself right now. So you got a better chance at winning the lottery. Exactly. So it's done. I have nothing else to say to this man. Actually, he's, he screamed at me. He's like, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue you. Go for it. Codependency with a narcissist ruins a person. Jack D, can we just like pin this? Because honestly, this helps me make sense of how I've, I was feeling sometimes. I literally feel myself wasting away. Like I feel myself losing myself, like having to lie about things I don't agree with or having to accept things I don't agree with or having to do things that make me uncomfortable. You just like start losing yourself because if without yourself, without your morals, without your self-respect, who the fuck are you as a person? You're nothing. You're just a pawn. You're just an object to these people. Don't forget being forced to apologize for things you didn't even do. Yep. He doesn't get that. I'm like, you literally... Like, we both fought. Like, that's the, this is a ex perfect example. The forced apology, okay? And I know I didn't see this at first, but I always felt... That's why the next day I was like, no, I'm not gonna... That's why I was like, I love you, but I'm not gonna lie for you. Like, this is fucking stupid. Like, he... Um, I do apologize. Okay, hold on. Let me order an ashy. Forced apology where... Okay, we both fought, right? We both... We both fought. We were both... He... I can't remember what the deal was, but... Every time I talk about, about him online, that's all he sees. Kiss my feet. Exactly. When he made me kiss his feet, I was like, I didn't mind kissing his feet if it was like uh, an act of like love for him. But for him, it's like a degrading thing, I'm sure. Just like his obsession with everything else. Degrading. So the thing with the SA, I'm basically just like, no, I don't feel like I was like R-worded exactly what I said happened is that's how it happened so I felt I felt 
degraded. Like I felt like it was painful and I didn't want to do it. So that's what I meant by that. That's it. And I've always maintained that story. Um, it's on the report, the police report. That's how I, everything I've said happened. I'm not sure if it's an essay or not. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I just said what happened and let people interpret however you want, I guess. For me, I felt uncomfortable, so. You don't, you have the right not to talk about things like that if you don't want to. That's exactly what I, I don't want to talk about it. And I didn't want to talk about it on fucking CJ's panel. And I don't need trash like fucking MFW giving me shit for something she wasn't even fucking there about. M Queen of morality, my fucking ass. That's what pissed me off. Like, you have the nerve to give me shit about something. But they, but they don't know what happened. That's the thing. So I was like, it was a bit of misplaced anger as well. You know? I don't know. He's probably passed out. Drunk in Didi's purple bed. Whatever. Own your shit. Own your shit. Own your shit and apologize and be a better person. I think people would just respect him more if he just admitted what a piece of crap he's been and, and tries to be better. But he'll never do that because people like him don't change. And that's... I That's... You're not the only woman who goes back and forth on this subject, especially when you keep getting baited by him. But the thing is, is like, that is a very serious accusation and it is something that can really ruin someone's life. And then the reality is bad seed too. Like I end up, yeah, being fallen back in love with him again. And then I don't want like how, oh yeah, I'm with somebody who did this horrible thing to me. Like, no, you can't, you have to make it look better to be with him, you know, cause you can't be with somebody who did that to you. Right. <laughs> and I always used to think he doesn't do that stuff to Didi, but maybe he doesn't, she just doesn't say anything about it because every single thing I've said, like, I remember having a talk with her and being like, like Didi, like when I was drunk, I was like, just hard, like he was in the bathroom. I was like, honestly, I was like, he did do things to me. Like he did, he's, I'm like, you've been with an Arabic man. Do they all hit their girlfriends? Like I would say stuff like that to her. I would be like, they're like abusive. And she would be like, well, she's like, yeah, my ex gave me, you know, and she would say what her ex did to her. And it's like, like it was nothing. And I was just like, no. And, and But then I feel bad, like not all Arabic men are like that. So I don't want to generalize and sound racist and everything. Cause that is not nice to say. Um, I was just trying to make sense of like stuff, you know? So that's all I'm going to say. I'm not taking shit for him anymore. I'm not lying for him anymore. Nader, if you want to have look inside yourself, I'm sure he's going to go online and be like, she's a fucking bitch. She's a fucking liar. Do what you got to do. I've said what I have to say. People can, I feel good. I told my side, my truth. I feel good knowing that I'm telling the truth and people can believe me or not at this point, I don't blame you. And that's it. You did more than just twist the truth. You lied a lot for him. I did lie for him a lot. Yes, I did. So does Didi. I wish he wasn't a liar. I wish he wasn't because he's lied to me too. Like if you lie about Ashley, if you lie about all this shit, you lie about the apology. You made me take all that heat by myself. What kind of fucking boyfriend does that to somebody made me be humiliated on camera. Like a loving person would never, and you guys are so right about that. A loving per You know what? That motorcycle guy was so loving. But no, I need to love myself. This is an act of self-love. I don't need love from motorcycle man. I don't need love from fake people. I don't need love from this guy. I don't need love from anybody but my fucking self. You bring up essay and all these people relate their experiences to you and then you turn around and invalidate everything that happens. You suck. Well, Misha, you suck too. You're a fucking bitch who doesn't... You cannot speak on a situation. You have no idea, okay? So fuck you. I don't owe anything to any SA victims. They, like, this is my personal situation. So go fuck yourself, Misha. I'm actually tired of your two-faced bullshit anyway. You're a fucking two-faced piece of shit liar. So go fuck yourself. Thank you. Nicole Ann, member for five months. I, like, I owe something to SA victims? Like, this is my fucking personal journey. Fuck you. You suck. You're a bully piece of shit and you suck. Yeah, you do, Misha. You're a fucking piece of shit. You're a fake two-faced piece of shit. I don't owe SA victims anything. So just because someone was SA'd, I have to automatically be a fucking spokesperson for everybody and not go through my own experience? Fuck you. You're flip-flopping is the reason a lot don't come forward. See, like, that's what I don't like. You put, you blaming me for all other SA victims' fucking experiences. You go fuck yourself too. You fucking shaming piece of shit. This is what I don't like, okay? Blaming me for not knowing how to act in a situation, a traumatic situation. You're invalidating my fucking abuse story, but validating by everyone else's, comparing it to everyone else's. Fuck you, uh... And fuck you, Donna Ray. I'm about to block your fucking ass, you piece of shit. Go to hell. Go to hell. Thank you very much. I'm not taking shit from none of you either anymore. Fuck you. I'm an essay victim and you owe me nothing. This is your journey, queen. Fuck you. Exactly, Black Zillion. Thank you. Fuck you. Thank you. Go to hell. Misha, you know nothing about my situation. Nothing. Nothing. Chantel does not need to be forced into telling her story. Exactly. And that's what it is. That's what it was on the panel. Are you lying or are you not? So are you lying or are you not? Are you lying or are you not? You think it's easy to come on here and say that your fucking boyfriend ass raped you? No, it's not. So go fuck yourself. 
Misha, I know you're trying so hard to be fucking relevant as a hater, but you're shitty at it. Nobody even fucking likes you. People make fun of you on the farms. You're a piece of shit. Goodbye. She is not telling the truth. The, the truth about what? The truth about what? Shell, you're a piece of shit. I'm blocking you from my fucking channel. You're not even a member. Get the fuck out of here with your two bucks. And you always comment on all my videos. You must be a mega fan. Goodbye. Yes, it is a rage. I'm tired of people fucking giving me shit for this shit. Fuck you. Giving me shit? Trying to shame me for not knowing how to act in a situation? That was fucking traumatic for me. So fuck you both. All of you. All of you. Fuck off. You don't need to be here. You don't need to be here. You don't need to be here. Okay? Goodbye. No, I have a right to talk about shit and people not coming on here and accusing me of fucking uh, being a shitty person just because I didn't, uh, oh, what? Because what? Because I didn't fucking take his ass right down to the cops right away by the scruffy neck? You don't think these people are, fuck this, these situations are fucking complicated. You out of DD story. Oh, well, I guess she was punched in the face by her fucking ex. Do you like, oh, who cares, Mizu? Send another dollar seventy nine British fucking pound that you need. Go fuck yourself. No, Misha, you're just a bitch. Goodbye. You think you call out. That's the thing. You're not calling out nothing. You're calling out nothing. You're being a fucking... You're talking about something you know nothing about. Okay? And at this point, you're being a fucking piece of shit bully. Goodbye. No, I'm not taking shit. I'm not taking shit from Nat or I'm not taking shit from you fucking abusive people either. Fuck you. And no, I'm not going to let a fucking asshole in my... My channel. In my Beezers. Thank you, Sambi. In my fucking Beezers. Accuse me of being a fucking shitty SA representative. Brooklyn into Bixton, you better fucking watch your fucking mouth too. Because I see you talking shit. You come in here, you talk shit, you're going to be fucking blocked again. Bye. Actually, no, I see you talk so much shit. I'm hiding you right away. I don't even want you here. Goodbye. There's something. You've said some pretty nasty shit and I don't forget it. So you're not part of my community. You're not welcome in my house. See ya. I'm not taking your shit. The way she handled it wasn't good, but you can't judge how people handle trauma. The, the way I handled it wasn't good. I mean, like, like, I would love to see anybody in this fucking situation and see how you would fucking handle it so fucking perfectly. I would love to see that. I would love to see it. I would love to see how you handle it. Love it. Guarantee you'd still be in it. Guarantee you'd still be in it. Don't even fucking even go there. I would have blocked the bum at Meth Pipe Day 1. Well, that's you, a number one fan. Do you want me to live my life the way you live your life? Why are you watch Why don't you go watch your own life then? Why are you here watching my life? If you would do something differently good for you, you have to realize that not everybody does things the way you do them. Fuck you, Beezer Beauty, you trailer park trash. Go hang out with more of your kind, you fucking loser. Misha's blocked, by the way. Anyone else want a problem with it? Google wipes, you lied about. Fuck you. Goodbye. Stupid fucking morons. Okay, let's go out. Can we rewind and know what caused today's morning rage? Misha being a fucking cunt. You said you weren't raped, and then you said you were ass raped. No, I said the man didn't sexually assault me. So that's what I said. Yes, I did say that. Why do I have to talk about that, Rue? Especially with you, you're a fucking nobody. Who the fuck are you? Do I owe you an explanation of what happened to me in private? No, I. yes, I did say that in the beginning, and I know people are not just going to forget about it. I told you what happened. I told you what fucking happened. He pressured me to have fucking anal sex. I didn't want to. That was it. That's what happened. See it however the fuck you want. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I especially don't want to talk about it. Yes, it's a fucking sore subject, Nori. That's why I'm fucking hateful today. Because these people are fucking hateful. And accuse me of being... I should be a fucking spokesperson for everyone who's fucking essayed. Fuck you. I don't owe you fuck all. I'm tired of the same fucking people. Beezers who are fucking annoying. Who only, like, talk shit no matter what I say or do. I don't need you in here. Yes, number one fan. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't have... I don't have a liking for you particularly. There's some people in here I don't like. So why should I have people I don't like in my chat? Just to make me mad every day. Just for their entertainment. Their, for them to, to have a reaction. Like, why, why, why should I do that? Why should I not just have people like plain cheeseburgers, sofa? People who... They're not fucking yes men. They just don't give a fuck. Like, they just fucking, like, aren't fucking assholes. Like, you know what I mean? Blank space, pressured, and rape are two different things. Blank space, it's not your authority to fucking talk about. It's something happened to me. I get to choose how I react to it. So keep your fucking opinion out of it. Goodbye. Clever trolls? They're not clever. How is EG clever saying, hey, asshole, fucking asshole? How is that clever? You people really need a sense of humor. I'm just tired. Like, I really wish, I don't know. Like, a part of me wishes I never said anything because of all the fucking, like, headache that goes along with it. But no, I don't really have to. Like, you're right. I can just shut up about it and people can just keep talking. I don't care. Cruel is not clever. Exactly. It's cruel is the opposite of clever. Like, insulting somebody is the fucking opposite. And I'm sorry, but matter if he's right about anything, it's that fucking dairy loser. You don't put, like, okay, your fucking food look like shit, too. Putting foil on a fucking grill, you fucking loser. Like, if you're going to, okay, and you do look like a piece of dough, you look like a piece of dough. No, well, like, how do people even care about his opinions? He sits there, fucking southern redneck looking like a piece of shit, talking shit about everybody. He doesn't even have anything intelligent to, to contribute. And you don't understand why we get mad when people stream snipe? Really? 
Like, go fuck yourself. And this is why I don't talk about it. Because no matter what I say, people will just take something else and be like, oh, you lied about this. You lied about this. Fuck off. Think about what, think whatever you want. But leave me the fuck alone at this point, okay? I'm tired of your shit. And Pete's and I are both moving payday out. You're not going to know where we live. So contact the building all you can before we leave. It's at four. It's at four. And if he makes too much of a fuss to go, I'm not bringing him. I will get a mobile groomer. And that's my fucking decision. Call the OSPCA. Actually, here's the number. Do you want the number for the OSPCA? The internet is awful with women, especially if they don't look like... How many people use... Watch. Guarantee everyone is going to use this as their thumbnail. I think I look good. I think I look good in this. I like how I look. Who are you to tell me that just because I have roles, I don't look good? Are you going to... Are you really going to tell me that? Are you really going to... You're going to tell me how to feel about my body? How I should feel internally about my own body? You're not going to tell me that. You're not going to tell me that. Sorry. You can use all you want for thumbnail, but you're the asshole for fat. Like, I don't care. It doesn't bug me that people fat shame me anymore. I'll be addressing FFG with a lot of fucking reports. Don't worry. They're going to be all getting theirs. All those hateful assholes who leech off me are going to be getting their day. Don't you worry about it. I'll let her grow her channel a bit more. That's all. Matter is the biggest leech. Yeah, he is. And he's not in my life. And now I know you're like, okay, I'm not. No, because I'm probably going to like oh wow i'm i'm raging and i have over two thousand people oh so you mean that like i can get more views if i talk shit Jeez, i thought ffg was the only person to figure this formula out ah what i'd like to see is her pull in the same views going to an outhouse and talking shit not about me just to you i think it's trashy the way people will give you shit over this and calls it animal control as long as we can still laugh at dumb shit like mustard on your chin. You can laugh at me all you want. Like, that's... I don't mind that kind of shit. Laugh at my mustard chin. Fucking call me corn. Whatever. But, like, actually, like, just hating me for things that you make up because you want me to be this bad person because it's easier for you to hate me that way. Fuck you. No. I'm not going to admit to be something I'm not. And I'm not going to let you treat me like shit and ruin my mental health. You're not worth it. You don't... You give me $4.99 a month. Fuck you. The mustard on the chin had me laughing, yeah. I'm not getting the apartment. I already told her no. They just, that's when I called, they called to see if I wanted the apartment still. I said, no. I said, we don't longer need it. We're not moving. I live with Didi, the person you made me fucking nuts about forever. The person you moved right in just because I wasn't there to edit your video right when you fucking needed it. You fucking asshole. And Didi, I don't feel bad for you. I hope you fucking sue me. I hope you bring me to court. I'm ready to fight you tooth and nail, bitch. Bring it on, Baldy. I know I'm bald too, but she's Stephen Harper. He ruins his reputation himself. He is nasty and angry at his viewers all the time. And he talks down to people. He's a nobody on YouTube. That's right. No, he, okay. I need to go. Let's go. Let's, let's leave. He's so, I'm a, he, I'm a real man. Hear me roar. Like, don't you know it's 2022 and people don't like that shit anymore. <laughs> people don't like toxic masculinity. It's 2022. Why does he refuse to learn how to edit it? No, he blames me for that too. You're supposed to teach me. Where's my video? You're supposed to have my video. Video. It's a video of him dancing at the Grey Gardens, at the gardens, and I don't want to edit it because it's annoying. I'm just gonna send him all this. No, I have, I'm not gonna send him the shit. I sent you your last video. Now you're on your own. Goodbye. <laughs> He's gonna hate me so bad for talking about this. I'm not saying anything that's not true. It's not like I'm just sitting here bashing him. Like a film. He has good points too, but he's got so he needs to fucking. I'm sorry, but. He doesn't like that I like outed who he really is, I guess. I don't know. It's private. I don't want these people are nothing to me. I don't want to show them who I really am. They don't deserve to see who I really am. Well, I don't want to see who you really are either and live with it by myself. Fuck that. Drive me crazy. I dress Dee Dee having all the latest Penningtons, probably because I fucking called her geriatric, so now she has to go in Pennington's bees. Why are you copying me? Get a life. I'm going to bring motorcycle guy to the museum. I'm going to ask him. Why did he have a picture of Shushu anyway on his phone? Her fuck He had a picture of Shushu. Her face... <laughs> her eyebrows were like this. I'm going to drop her fucking eyebrow. I don't care. This is body shaming. I'm eyebrow shaming Shushu. Because you know what? This 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 woman is the one that uh, this man is, is so enamored with. 
come to Lachine and eat my beaver that I've been married for. I'm so, I've been married for 20 years, but my beaver is hot and I need some Baba Ganesh in my beaver. I hate, I hate these people. Shoo shoo gonna sue sue. Bring it! Nobody even knows. A shoo shoo could be anybody, so have fun proving that I'm even talking about you, moron. Lachine, morons! Have fun. They exchange dirty picks. It wasn't a dirty pick, but I'm sure. You can't sue for talking about someone's brows. What are you gonna sue me about? Your feelings being hurt, you dumb, stupid idiot? Did you lose any money? What are you gonna sue me for? You ruined your own job, Didi, because you were in shit from your job. You admitted it from doing the prank on company time. So that's not my problem. You did that for stupid matter. He thought it would be a good idea. Like he doesn't get it. He doesn't listen to me. It always has to be his way. Your way's not working, buddy. She lost that voice. Kill Lowry. Just try getting people to not talk about them in the internet. She lost that lawsuit. Dee Dee will too. I want her to try. Get using that pension. Or maybe, maybe Natter can fork over some. I don't give a damn what Dee Dee looks like, but her actions and all this make her a nasty person. I don't know. She, she's so convincing that she's so prim and proper and not a bad person. And I'm the crazy one, right? Because I have mental illness. She even tried to shame me on that. I have my right mind. You call me geriatric, right? With her little thumb, her little arm thing. But I'm smart, Chantal. Let's see it, Dee Dee. Let's see it, Dee Dee. You're so smart. You're really smart. Is that your tactic? Lying for Natter? That's your smart tactic? You really think I'm dumb. You don't know who you're, you don't know who you're dealing with either, honey. You don't know who you're dealing with either. Didi still has a job. Maybe they are lying to... She was in trouble, but not fired. I don't think they're scamming me. She's never asked me for money. No, I'm not... I don't want to have anything to do with the law ever again. I just want to move on and forget about him. I don't. I can't handle this law shit. And he called me a fucking whore. Remember he said that? You fucking whore. Because I talked about him online. <laughs> what did I say that wasn't true? You gave me gonorrhea. You think I'm not going to out you for that? Ladies, if a man gives you gonorrhea and then bums his way to get medication for it, are you not going to out him online? Yes, thank you. What woman would not out her man, hairy armpits, would not out her man for giving me gonorrhea? Because you know I didn't cheat. It was him. This is for money. It's not real. <sighs> Bet that dress you had on yesterday had skid marks. Okay, Langley, you literally look like an entire skid mark. And you're going to, like, talk about my skid marks? At least my skid marks come from my ass and don't look like my face. Thank you for your $1.99. New Kia or Scram? Scram! Okay, let's look at mobile. Let's look at mobile vets. Mobile vet veterinarian. And when we come home, let's go buy some grooming tools. Pig. You're calling me vile, but calling me a disgusting pig in the same sentence? These are my favorite kind of idiots. These are my favorite kind. I'm guessing you're going to need to keep your two bucks because you're probably not the brightest person and you probably haven't gotten very far in life because happy people who are successful do not cut other people down for two bucks. Okay, I'm blocked. Everybody. Wait. But I will block again if I have to. Let me just call the. What is this? Oh, hi, who's this? Salaberry holding. Did the police station try to call me in, in Montreal? Hi, I'm so sorry for the last um, notice. I have to cancel my appointment for Sam because he's just like 
I'm gonna have to get a mobile vet to come in because he's too he's too freaking out. Yeah. Because of that, really? Yeah, you get that a lot. <laughs> I know, it's, you know, like, my other cat's okay, like, uh, Casey, but him, he just, I know, he's too paranoid, so. Yeah, I'll just cancel it for now, yeah. I'll call back to reschedule um, BBJ, or uh, Casey. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> um, yeah, BBJ can go. I even heard her heart weight was elevated, the vet was saying. So I'll probably have to give her some gabapentin first. She has her gabapentin. Um, but yes. Okay, the vet. No, what the thing is, I have to sign up. I have to register. So I have to like take the time. I have the um the mobile veterinary services page up. So what I'm gonna do is like I have to register Sam and BBJ, sign them up, and then make an, an initial appointment for them to come in. I'm excited though, because then I don't have to worry about, you know. I did, I unblocked everybody. Do I look good? Hi. So yeah, this mo mobile groomers for 65 a month. You can afford that. That's 65 times two, 130 on the cat. Plus their cat food is three bucks a day. I give them each a can, six bucks a day to feed my cats. That's just the wet food. 180 a month, that's not bad. Why are you making fun of my diabetes neck? And why are people who look like this making fun of me? <laughs> I get fucking emails from people with profile pictures like this. I think you're a fucking bitch and I think you're gross and you're disgusting. No. You think you are gross and disgusting and you're projecting, okay? Get that shit checked. You're not gross and disgusting, and neither am I. We are all, no, sorry, we're all gross and disgusting. Been on here a long time and raged. I raged. Goodbye. Do you think Deity's getting her groove on? Yes, I think they fuck every night, and I think they both lie to me. I should read between the lines. Anyways, I'm not going to be lied to. I'm not going to be treated like shit by another man in my life. If you don't want to take me out and you don't want to treat me good, then screw you. Imagine wishing a class A drug addiction on someone for your entertainment. Me? Okay, bye. The cocaine summer was underappreciated. Oh, <laughs> bye. I'm just going up the road. My cheese sticks are cold. My Burger King was at the door for like an hour and a half. These black pants I'm wearing, I went to sit in the car. I felt a rip and I'm like, no, I couldn't have ripped my pants. So I move, I shift my butt. Sure enough, rip right open. So I cannot get out of my car right now. I have to drive in the middle of nowhere. So I can change my pants. I wanted to tell you. So I was on the phone with Bay Nation. But she called me whenever her daughter was in the car, but she didn't know. And before I had a chance to say anything, she was like, "Oh, I wanted to tell you something." She's like, "I seen a snapshot of Nader wearing your one of your hats, poor hat." And he was like, "Oh yeah, thanks, poor hat." Anytime I drink or do drugs, I ask Pete to hide my keys on me, just because. Did he really say that, Sabrina? For real? He was hammered, but... I know he stands up for Didi. Never for me. And he's like, it's because you talk sh Didi doesn't talk shit about me. No, she licks your asshole. I, I won't do that. How does, how does this butthole taste, Didi? I'm sure like mint and fucking coriander, right? You know what he tried to say? Because I flipped out on him about that phone call from its water weight when he's like, I like it the most. 
I was like, you fucking liar, blah, blah, blah. So further down the line, after he has time to think about an answer, he tells me his excuses. That was Didi. Thank you for the confirmation because you flip, you flipped out on me when I said that it was Didi. You flipped out on me. This is my problem. You make me feel like my feelings are not valid. So I have no choice but to come on here and scream at you. When I knew all along, oh, it was Didi, but she was just, I didn't even know it was her. She was just saying that, like, oh, like, you're handsome, you know, like, uh, to try and bring drama or whatever. No. <clears throat> you cannot backtrack this. You can hear how desperate and horny she is in her voice in that phone call. You can hear it. You can clearly hear her in the tone. And this is not talking about you, Dee Dee. You actually, I have a right to, this is a reaction. I have a right to react to things that you put online. You called online. So I have a right to react to this. I'm not messaging you. I'm not texting your phone. I'm not harassing you. I'm talking about something that happened online. So. Sure. <coughs> Did I lose weight? I know. Are you worried about me? People are saying they're worried about my weight loss. You can see it in my face. It's a real big place. Oh, we gotta clean the house because they're coming in on the 7th. <laughs> like they're coming to clean the AC, which is outside and all the garbage bags gotta go. So we're gonna clean. <clears throat> Are we really at the drive-thru with our ass out and a bikini top on? Yes. My clothes look baggy. I know the pants are baggy a bit, but they, for some reason they ripped in the ass area. The mayo on Chantal's chin. Hello. We need more emojis. <laughs> there was a sweet pic of Dee Dee and Natter. I know, they're going to be together forever now. So they can Hi. stay together. Hi. Hi. Oh, and Debbie? Yeah. You want to see? No, that's okay. I'm not sure. I kind of want to move out of here because just I don't, I'm not comfortable with people knowing where we live. The rent is very high. I kind of want to move somewhere with Pete's a bit cheaper. So what I was doing, I may as well, look, I'm going to be driving for like an hour. So I may as well be here and go. I'm just going to drive. Let me see. I'm going to go to the middle of nowhere so I can find somewhere to put pants on. I, so here's the thing. I've been dying to share with you guys exactly how I've been feeling and what I've been going through with the Montreal trips and everything. Like there's a lot you guys don't know about and stuff. So I was dying to, to do that. But the majority of the thing is that I'm not being honest with myself. I'm not, I'm doing things that are not good for myself and it's like destroying my soul. And I know it, I'm doing things that are not good for me. I'm basically giving so much of myself doing things that make me uncomfortable in order to make him happy, you know? So that's why I would get tired and like stressed out after like just a couple days because it, it's very emotional. It's very draining being around like him a lot. It's very draining. He's very demanding. Like, and it's just, yeah, like every single thing, like it's just draining being around him. So I need like, so I don't know why I would think that living with him would be a good idea, but we were supposed to, I, what he's telling me, he probably won't admit that to you online, but he's supposed to, and like I said, I have all my messages, so he can lie all he wants, but I have all the messages, like, between us, so, anyway, I was supposed to get an apartment for us, like, we were supposed to live together, that was the, that was the idea, for me, what I was gonna do is, and for me, the biggest thing is not being able to make up my mind, like, back and forth, back and forth, like, one minute, I love him, one minute, I want to be with him, and I'll do anything for him and make it work, and then the next minute, because we've been through so much shit together, like, all of this shit has to make sense, has to mean something, he even said that, like, you know, all of this shit, and then we're just gonna drop it, but yes, because if we keep, this is the same logic as trying to repair a broken car over and over instead of just getting a new one, it's like, at some point, we're just gonna destroy each other to the point of there being nothing left, we're killing each other, and I don't know about you, but I kind of like living, so no, and I like living peacefully. Honestly, like, I just... And I just 
can't do it. Like I just cannot keep giving of myself and just getting nothing in return for it. I literally get nothing. I get nothing but more stress and keep waiting. I just keep waiting for validation from this man for some kind of like sign that he loves me. Like I'll literally be like, okay, I love you after doing so much for him. And just because I didn't properly apologize to him, instead of giving me a love you back, he'll give me a thumbs up. Like he'll like emotionally play with me out of like a, a weird fucking sense of pun like some kind of weird punishment is what it feels like. Like, are you punishing me? I'm like, why? Why are you punishing me? Like, I don't get it. Why don't you treat Dee Dee this way? Like, what did I, like, I talk about you online? Well, why don't you not act like that? And then maybe I would, like, I was in a relationship with seven, for seven years with BB. I never, ever had to talk shit about him. I never talked shit about him because he never made me, like, feel. He never mistreated me. So I didn't have to, you know? And I know it's frustrating for you guys because you've been screaming stuff at me. But like I said, I have to live through it myself. Like I can't listen to everyone's different opinions. Like I just have to live through my own experiences and learn from my own mistakes, I guess, I don't know. And I was in the hotel room and I was feeling like that really like, I was starting to feel like, okay, I need to like think of something. I need to go, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. I was like in the hotel room and I was like, what am I doing? There, I do have those moments where I'm like, what am I doing right now? Like I'm in the seediest hotel I'm like stressing, trying to find, think of ways that I'm going to be able to afford to fund his life. Ew, for what? Like all of this stress, you're right, it could just go away instantly. I could have all this money to myself. I can have all of this. I could be happy. I could be, all I have to do is just suffer through breaking up, getting, breaking up with him for good. Like, and yeah, it did piss me off hearing him. Like, not even like acknowledge like he does like not even just saying I don't have a girlfriend I don't that's like the most important for, thing for you is for people to know that I'm not your girlfriend <laughs> really so what do you call it what do you call it when a woman loves somebody puts all of their emotion emotionally supports you spends all of their time neglecting themselves their family and their own finances and their own household and their own job for you I feel like a fucking sucker that's what you call a sucker that's what you call a sucker what do you call somebody who does all that? If they're not your girlfriend, what do you what do you think? What do you think I am? Like just doing this just because you're Nat or El Jammy? Just because you're you? That you deserve the respect and you deserve all that just because you're you? You actually think that. And that's why you're sick in the fucking head. You actually think that you're entitled. It's the entitlement. That, it's the entitlement for me. It's the entitlement. Like you wouldn't, oh. I know I said that a thousand times. Because you're better and you've traveled to 27 countries. That's not how life works newsflash and you're gonna learn that the hard way because i'm not lying for you ever again and you've lost me from your life because of how you are you so you're gaslighting i'm gonna turn it around on you today you're gaslighting that you've done for the whole year blaming everything on me blaming everything on me being crazy and not taking one ounce of responsibility for your own fucking actions is gonna end today so unless if you really want to redeem yourself natter you know what you need to do because at this point it's just ridiculous you need to go on live and save yourself and you need to say i fucked up and i did some shitty stuff out of anger because you have anger problems own who you are you're a good person too you're not entirely you're not a bad person you do shitty things and i do believe you that you can't control them sometimes it's not an excuse because you have to learn how to control it we all have to take responsibility for our actions if there's anything i've learned about that especially with the cuba rage especially with anything nobody's gonna fucking save you nobody owes you to save you and you owe me a fucking apology and stop being so fucking smug and arrogant because people don't like that why should i do anything for you and i'm sorry i feel like i deserve to talk about this i feel like me venting is the least i get to talk about because of all the shit you've done to me you've given me gonorrhea you've abused me you've, you've talked so much shit about me you fucking cheated on me so many times you you used me for count thousands of dollars you're nothing you've done nothing but hurt me you've really done nothing oh you've given me a few crappy lousy orgasms oh wow that i can give to myself for free Why am I getting in trouble? Like, I don't understand why I get in trouble for talking about him. Like, when everything I say is true, shouldn't he be apologizing for his behavior? Like, that's so stupid. That's like somebody getting murdered. That's like somebody getting attempted. Like, somebody is a victim of, like, something. Attempted murder. Let's just for an example. So then the murderer, like, blames the victim and then, like, the victim apologizes. I don't understand. I'm not saying, like, it's just stupid. Like, even, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, why am I apologizing? Why am I, why did I ever apologize to him? Like, I don't get it. For ruining your reputation what reputation people knew me as a chef oh whatever fuck off give me a break prove that i ruined your reputation prove it because as far as i know your reputation was shit anyways like you literally were in prison for stabbing two people so how in the fuck 
are you going to say? And like, I'm not rubbing that against him. He did his time, whatever. I don't know all the details about the case. Like, well, I do know the details, but you know what I mean? Like, it's not really, I'm not going to like, I don't want to be like that type of person that's like, just because I'm like, not mad at you at the time. I'm going to like have a problem. You know what I mean? I really don't want to be like that. Although yes, of course, if I'm trying to be with him and uh, I love him and I'm not angry at him and my feelings change, like my perspectives change, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's just messed up and I just don't want to, I just don't want to deal with it anymore. Like I just want him out of my life and I just wanted to marry him the other day. But then, then I get with him and then I can't stand it for like two days. And then I remember all of the reasons why. And then I get this, then I get like this again. And then I forget whenever he's nice to me. And then it's just like a never ending cycle. It's insane. So yeah, I'm a little fucking mad. And I think anytime that Dee Dee's been like, bitching at matters, it's probably the same thing for her. He's probably got himself in a situation with two, using two women now that like whenever, oh, okay, so Chantal is not gonna be here. He felt like he was like, maybe I was slipping away when I went to Windsor without him. I broke it off with him, went to Windsor alone. So he calls him Dee Dee and got Dee Dee into the position that I was in, including with feelings and everything, money, whatever. And now you want me back because now you're legally allowed to be with me again. Dee Dee knows I love you. How does she know that? Because after everything, after all the charges you put on me, I still want to be with you. So these are all my thoughts. These are all how I'm feeling and I don't want to bottle it up. So you better stay away from me because as long as we're together, yeah. I'll probably always talk about you. Oh, I'm tired. Emotionally tired. And yes, I'm still sad. Like, I feel sick. I feel like I want to run back. I feel, even right now, I want to run back to him and, like, make everything okay. I don't want any of this to be true. I don't want it to be true. I want it to be fucking, you know? It's not, it is true. It's not, I don't like it. Oh, like, the whole situation is really stressing him out, but you can make it, like, I don't know what to say. It's not my job to save you, man. So that's it. Let's just talk about something else. He used to charge me, uh, like, he charged me 300 bucks for shrooms once for a gram. I bet you he pocketed that money, fucking ripped me off. Or 150 for coke every time. Probably charging me. Uh, I talked to a coke dealer a while ago at the time, and they were like, 150? I've never heard of it being that expensive. Oh, this is good shit. This is really good shit. 150 he's probably it was probably more like 80 or 90 and he would pocket the rest <laughs> just like little things like that i think about that make me pissed off all over again and it will always happen so again i'm blocking you don't fuck with me because if you don't like this you don't like being outed for your behavior you're gonna have a problem with me over and over again over and over and over again you don't think if this went to court i would win i'm gonna sue you <laughs> no i don't think if it went to court that you would win i don't i really don't I really don't. You know you wouldn't. Try and fucking get me to get a lawyer. Get a lawyer for you? Never in a million years. Ever in a million years. A gram of shrooms is 10, 15 bucks. I know. Yep. Guys, look at my pants. <laughs> the car is probably like okay i have this vest i have this I didn't think he was scamming me at all. 300 for shrooms, yeah. Okay guys, I'm gonna go change my pants in the field here because I can't show you me changing. And I gotta take my shoes off. So I will just be two seconds.
My battery's dead. Hold on, I swear it's dead. Oh, thank God. Thank fucking God. Oh. Oh. Oh my God, thank God. Oh. 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 Did you hear it? <laughs> Let's go home. No, I can't afford my car breaking down. I had to drive up to the middle of nowhere because I had to put pants on. Okay, back to Ottawa. Wait. Something is dying on my car. I think the battery. Let's just get, let's go home. I'll be back later. We're gonna go mini put tonight. I want to hear his lecture. I gotta go. All right, I wanna live in freedom. I wanna dance with my demons. I wanna drink for no reason. And celebrate every season. Yeah, yo, yeah. call my place the kingdom. Cause I got what you need. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like what you see, please buy my merch. Link in the description below. Let's get some.